Hello everybody and welcome back. So today I wanted to go over um, patterns and how to work with them and I'm going to go from like the beginning to the end. So I'm going to start with um, downloading it, going through it, cutting it out, pasting it together or taping it together, um, and then cutting your fabric. So if you're interested in learning how to do that, stay tuned. So once you purchase a pattern, you will download it and you'll get something like this. So it'll come with all of these instructions and pages. When you're first starting off, it's not a bad idea to read through all of it. It has everything you need. So it has the before you start um, instructions. It has the supply list of everything that you will need. Um, and it even has um, a printing guide. Those patterns will come with um, different ways, options, and styles of um, the garment. So it will let you know here um, what you need to print out for those, for what you're wanting to do. So, so say you only wanted to do um, the short, the shorts version of this pattern, you only need to print out pages 10 and 11. But say you wanted to do the pants with the waistband, then you would cut out 10 to 13. We'll also come with a chart size, so if you're not sure what size your kiddo will wear, um, you can measure your kiddo here at the hips, waist, height, and maybe the weight, and then you can decide um, what size they'll be wearing. It also comes with fabric requirements, so if you're not sure how much fabric you will need when you're at the fabric store, it tells you here exactly how much you will need. So anywhere, if you're doing the shorts, then you only need a quarter, um, a quarter fabric if you're doing the pants all the way down to the ankles and you'll need um, anywhere to a half um, a yard of fabric and then it will have all your instructions here with pictures and wording to what you need to do and then towards the bottom it will have your pattern pieces and you will need to print out all these pages cut them and put them together Most patterns will um, come with a layered um, feature. And what that is, is that you can come to the side here where you see these little pages. You'll click on it, bring this arrow down. And then as you can see, it has all of the sizes. If you're only wanting to do, um, you know, a three month size, you would just unclick all of the ones that you weren't going to do. So there I only have my three month clicked and now Instead of getting all of those lines, I only have the line for the three month pants. Also, if you feel like you're going to be doing a lot of different sizes, I would just print out the whole thing, um, put it together and then trace out um, the size that you want. That way, next time that you go and you're trying to do a size up, maybe your baby has grown a little bit more and needs a size up, um, you won't have to reprint the whole thing and cut it and retape it. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So you'll go here and you'll print your pages. Um, make sure that you're only printing the pages that you need. So we're gonna need 10 through through 13. Um, and now I can see here what I'm printing is only the pages with the patterns. And then you're gonna wanna make sure that it's at the scale of 100. And then you'll print. Okay, so now that you have printed out your pages, you should have something that looks like this. So you could piece it together and then cut it all out, but uh, most patterns come with a lot of different sheets. Um, so it's harder to piece it all together and then cut it. So I usually just cut one page and then cut the other page, page tape those two together, then cut the next page, tape it together, cut the next page, tape it together. One thing I forgot to mention before is when you print out your very first sheet, it's gonna come with these squares here. So you wanna make sure that these squares are what they say they are. So you'll take your measuring gauge here and you'll put it there. And then as you can see, it's two by, by two. And then this is four centimeters by four centimeters. And that's how you know that your pattern is um, the correct size. If you print it out and these are not matching up to what they say they are, then you did something wrong and you need to reprint it. Make sure that it's at 
um, for your when you're printing it. Now that you have your first two pieces cut out, you're going to uh, overlap them a little. And some of them will have these markers that will tell you what page goes with what page, which is really nice. So you'll just kind of match them up and then you'll tape it. You'll tape it and then you'll cut out the rest of your pieces. Okay, now we have our pattern all cut and taped together. So after I did that a few times, I got really tired of having to print out the same pattern for the same style for a different size once my daughter started to get bigger. So um, what I started to do was I started just tracing it with tracing paper and I'll show you what I mean. So I take some tracing paper and I got this just at Walmart. You can get it at Walmart, Hobby Lobby, any craft store really. Um, and I put it on top of the pattern and I just trace over the pattern piece that I want or the pattern size that I want. So right now I'm going over the purple line right now because this is the, the um, size that I want. So now you have this. If you're gonna do this though, it's very important that you have to write down everything that comes on this, this part. So make sure that you're writing down what pattern it is because when we, once you do this a lot, you're gonna have a lot of different patterns and some, might get, some pieces might get lost. So you wanna know which one goes with which one. So I'm writing down the pattern. I'm writing down the size. Um, so this is gonna be a preemie size. And then I'm gonna write that this is the main fabric. And then I'm gonna write that I need to cut two mirrored images. So two mirrored images. Oops, I can't write. And then you're gonna to wanna to write all of these lines too. So stretch is going this way. And the grain is going this way. So now you have your pattern now you have your pattern piece here and you won't have to cut this one you can once you need another size you'll just come over and trace the other side that you want okay now that you have your pattern um, cut out and ready to go you want to make sure that you are following these guides here when you are cutting out your pattern um, these are going to make sure that you're cutting the fabric in the correct way so right here this first one is called the grain, and this is what you're gonna follow uh, if your fabric has some kind of pattern on it so that you make sure that the pattern is the right way. For instance, this fabric right here. So my pattern here, or my fabric here has these rainbows that are up this way. So I wanna make sure that my pattern is going along this line. And since the top of my pattern is here, then I wanna make sure that the top of my uh, design is up here. If I were to do it this way, which is still correct with the grain, my um, rainbows would be upside down though because my top is here and my bottom is here, if that makes sense. If you have fabric like this, or maybe even like this, um, you don't really have to worry about the grain because there's no like actual way that the pattern goes or that um, the design goes. So either you won't really need to pay attention to the grain. So for this line right here, it's the stretch of your fabric. So you just wanna make sure that the fabric is stretching the way that it's pointing. So my stretch is going this way, so I wanna make sure that my fabric stretched that way. Um, some fabric stretches both ways, so it wouldn't really matter if you didn't have a design on it. Um, and then also some fabrics only stretch one way, so if, say, my fabric didn't stretch this way, it only stretched this way, so I, wanted, I would wanna make sure that my fabric was going this way so that the stretch is coming out. So same goes for this piece. Our grain line is going to be going this way. Our stretch is going to be out this way. And then um, some patterns will have this here that says fold. So you would cut on fold. What that means is you're going you're to take your fabric and you're going to fold it. And then you're going to make sure that you are cutting on fold. So this 
right here is my fold. It says fold. Put it there, and then you're going to cut, cut, and cut. Also on the pattern, it will um, tell you on each piece how many of them you need. So for this one, I only need to cut one on fold. So like I said, cut it on fold. And then for this one, I need to cut two of these, but I need to cut them mirrored. For cutting mirrored, there's two ways to do it. One is you could fold, have your fabric folded in half. So I have my folded in half and then you will lay your fabric or your pattern on top of it and you will cut and that will give you two opposite sides. Or you could do, if you can't, if you don't have enough fabric and you need to um, cut one at a time, you could cut this one out with the pattern piece up first and then you can turn it around and then cut with the pattern piece down. Or you could cut with the pattern or with the fabric up, cut it this way, and then turn your fabric around and cut it this way. What you wanna have is though two mirrored images of this. So this is a pretty easy pattern. There's not a lot going to it, so it's really beginner friendly. Um, some patterns will have other things on there, like they'll have a little um, dot somewhere and it's just like a marking, like, oh, you're gonna add these two dots together when you're sewing or whatever it may be. For the most part, your patterns will be pretty similar to this one. All right, so I went ahead and cut out my pieces that I've traced out. So now we no longer need this piece here. We can just work with the pieces that we have traced out. And now that we have gone kind of through everything, let's put it to practice. So I'm gonna cut out my pattern pieces now. So I'll take my fabric. Okay, so I got my fabric here. And like I said, it's very important to read your patterns to make sure that you're cutting out the right size. So I'm gonna need two of, of this pattern piece right here, and I need them to be mirrored images. So. All right, so I'm gonna take my pattern piece, I'm gonna lay it over my fabric. It's nice to have some um, pattern weights if you have them, if not, it's not necessary. You'll grab whatever you're gonna to use to cut and you're gonna cut your piece out. Okay, so as, as I said before, we need to cut two mirror images. So I just cut my first piece with my pattern facing up, and now I wanna cut it with my pattern facing down, and that's gonna give me that mirror image that I want. Okay, now that we have our two um, pant pieces cut out, now we'll just need to cut out the waistband. So we are cutting one of these and we're gonna get it, we're gonna cut it on fold. We're gonna make sure that grain is going this way, and we're gonna make sure that there's enough stretch going this way. So we'll take our fabric, we'll fold it. Make sure that you're putting the fold part here, and then we're gonna cut it. All right, so now we have our waistband. So now you have cut it all out. You have your waistband and your two mirrored pant pieces. And now you're just ready to sew it all up. I hope this video was helpful for you all. Um, let me know if you have any questions or any other things that you want me to go over. I'll see you all next time.